Hey you guys, so I'm back again with another message from the Lord. And God had dropped this message in my spirit while I was eating um, lunch today. And God wants me to come and tell his children, you are the first. That's why the devil is attacking you so bad. We go through attacks sometimes and don't realize why we're going through attacks. Like, why am I being attacked? But when you are first to break some type of generational curse in your family, you get attacked. And a lot of you guys um, probably don't know that you're about to be the first to break something in your bloodline, to break something um, and to break something off of your bloodline and to build a generational wealth type thing. And that's why the devil is fighting you so hard. Y'all, like I said, hopefully maybe one day God will tell me and release my testimony. But there's some things that I, I achieved that I didn't know that I was the first whenever I did it. And for me to realize that I was the first and that's why the devil was fighting me so hard. Um, when I say that whatever I was working on, like I said in a previous video, I was just being ghastly. I was just being made to feel like I was overreacting, acting like I was being unreasonable and all these things but it was just the devil attacking me because the devil wanted me to stop because i was the first i was uh, going to be the first to break something that my family couldn't break or to achieve something that my family did not achieve due to all the witchcraft and warfare and um being crabs in the book and stuff like that so some of y'all guys are going to really see in this season or understanding the season right the reason why the devil fought you so hard is because you were the first you are the first to achieve whatever you are achieving that god is calling you to in this hour it can be a business it can be um anything y'all business schooling a job something that you are achieving that you are the first it can even be marriage because a lot of people in their family bloodline, people don't stay married long. And it could be you finally getting married to someone and having a healthy marriage. You are the first. So that's why the devil is attacking you so hard. So don't give up. And then it's going to all make sense in the end. Like, dang, after you get finished, that's why the devil was fighting me this hard? That's why the devil was trying to make me quit? That's why the devil was trying to gaslight me? That's why the devil was trying to send me all these distractions so I won't complete the assignment? Because you are the first. You are the first. That's why I try to tell people it's good to know where you come from. It's good to know your family background and what runs through your bloodline. Because that can be the main reason why the devil is attacking you. Because you are breaking something off the bloodline. And I try to tell people that, you know, I coach and things like that do your research if you don't know who all your family is or your lineage and where you come from do your research because you need to know this because sometimes someone in your bloodline is doing something on you especially if you come from a bloodline that you know possibly can have witches and warlocks in the bloodline well you want to know what type of you want to know what type of witchcraft and stuff that they do <laughs> that your family was involved in so you know how to pray so you know how to war so you know what to be aware of. Their tactics. So God can give you strategy. So um, be mindful, y'all. But like I want to say, you are the first. You are the first. Mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. You are last to them. And God is making you first in something. And that's why they're fighting you so hard. Or that's why they were fighting you so hard. Because some of y'all might have already accomplished what God had told you that you was going to accomplish. And you was just asking God, like, God, like, why am I going through all this warfare? Why did I go through all this warfare when I was trying to do this? It's because you are the first. You are the first. You might have could be the first one in your family to give yourself completely over to God. A lot of people, like I said, um, might come from a long line of witches and warlocks. And that stuff is passed, passed down from generation to generation. And you probably just like, mm, this ain't, this is not what it is. This is not what I put, posted book here for. And you, fought, you came across Christ and you fell in love with Christ and gave your life to God. And now you being fought tooth and nail because you are the first 
to say, no, I want to live for the Lord. I want to be sold out for the Lord. I don't want to sell myself to the devil. Like, y'all can have that, but I want God. I want life more abundantly. You know, a, life, a lot of people don't like that. And especially if you came out of a family like that and you are walking into, okay, I just want you the first person in your family that God is probably raising up to be a prophet, a minister, or whatever. And you came from a family of witches and warlock. Oh, yeah. That, that warfare is going to be unreal. Because the devil don't attack, attack his. He attacked the ones that decide they want to live for Christ. So your warfare is going to be probably 10 times worse. Because you are fighting. You are fighting something that you're breaking. You're fighting curses that be are curses being broken. And then on top of that, your family might start fighting you uh, with witchcraft. Because you decide, I want to live for God. I want to live for God. I want to live for the Lord. That lifestyle ain't for me. That's not what God called me for. God called me to be a mouthpiece. God called me to spread the good news. Like, you're going to go through some warfare, all right? But God wants me to tell you the reason why you are going through this warfare or the reason why you have been going through warfare is because you are the first, all right? So I love you guys. I pray that you all have an amazing day. Stay encouraged, y'all, because I'm telling y'all, God is going to deal with them <laughs> and this season for attacking you. You just got to hold on. You got to endure. Read your word. If you're going through warfare read songs the book of songs i'm telling you it's gonna help you get through that warfare all right so i love you all i pray that you have an amazing day and i'll chat with you all later